I'd like to now give a brief opening statement before we proceed to questions. Uh, thank you. I'd, I would like to make a brief opening statement. Um, I am an energy generalist. <coughs> I began my career uh, in uh, energy at the CSR in South Africa, uh, which I joined after completing um, my PhD and uh, postgraduate work in Leeds in the UK. Uh, I um, started uh, working on high temperature batteries, uh, the sodium chloride battery uh, called the Zebra battery. That battery uh, was ultimately commercialized um, in uh, Switzerland. It was a sodium chloride high temperature battery. <coughs> Unfortunately, it couldn't, wasn't sustainable at that time in the market and um, it, that, uh, the company f uh, failed after about four years. I was also involved uh, in lithium batteries. Um, after having worked on that project, I became uh, the organizer and manager of a battery group. Uh, the uh, main person in that battery group was a chap called Mike Thackeray. He developed lithium battery technology in the mid-1990s that was patented. Um, and I was involved in securing uh, licenses for that patent with Toshiba in Japan. Uh, and so I have licensed lithium battery technology a number of decades ago and I'm very familiar with the lithium battery supply chain and how batteries uh, operate. Subsequent to that, I um, managed a, a group of 360 professionals and technical people in a combined energy and materials division. Um, and that was an opportunity to understand how wind worked. Uh, we looked at uh, wind plus pumped hydro projects in the eastern part of South Africa. Uh, that was the first time that I also became familiar with rural and re regional uh, energy distribution. Um, and subsequent to that, I also became uh, involved in a number of other projects in relation uh, to the distribution of energy in um, disadvantaged communities. Uh, and the integration of energy systems. Before I came to Australia, I was involved in leading um, as a member of government. I moved into government, worked in the Department of Science and Technology, where I was a deputy, um, uh, one tier under the, the head of that department. And uh, I then orchestrated and uh, did the South African hydrogen strategy. Uh, in the Bush era hydrogen strategy. So I'm very, very familiar with hydrogen technology and happy to discuss it. Um, and following that involvement in, in the hydrogen strategy, I was invited to join um, the board of the Pebble Bed Modular Reactor Company, which is a uh, third generation, uh, stroke fourth generation um, uh, nuclear power technology, which has been commercialized in China I was involved uh, in that project. Uh, subsequently, the, the board asked me to join the company as the chief operating officer. And during the time that I was the chief operating officer in that company, which was ultimately uh, closed because of the challenge of doing the economics in South Africa, uh, I was phoned by Dr. Ziggy Sukarski, who's been mentioned already in this uh, uh, context, uh, to apply for the job um, at Ansto as the CEO. I competed for that job and came to Australia um, to take on the role of being the CEO of Ansto. Um, I left uh, Ansto a couple of years ago, um, having spent uh, nearly 11 years in the organisation, taking it um, to a net margin producing organisation. Uh, started with uh, 980 people when I joined, there were 1,440 people. Uh, working in nuclear technology for Australia when I left. Thank you. I'll pass over to Mr. Bernal for the first lot of questions.